from modern complexes whose halls once harbored triage units and psych wards, where it's rumored the ghosts of both doctors and patients long deceased still roam, to prominent medical campuses shrouded in legends of phantom babies and shadowy manifestations. Are you ready for our second list of picks for some of the most haunted hospitals in the U.S.? Number 5. Hotel Park Central Hotel Park Central, located off Central Avenue Southeast in Albuquerque, New Mexico, is a medical campus turned posh hotel that's recognized for both its history as a hospital and psychiatric ward, as well as for its numerous associated reports of inexplicable activity. Historically, construction of the Santa Fe Railway Hospital was completed in 1926, with the facility purpose to care for employees of the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway Company. Through the 1980s, the building was transformed into a psychiatric ward for children and was renamed as Memorial Hospital. By the late 1990s, the property had fallen into disrepair, and in 2007, it was closed down entirely. After extensive renovations and reconstruction, the old hospital site would reopen in 2010 as Hotel Park and would claim its spot on the National Register of Historic Places. Hotel Park Central remains open to this day, offering 74 guest rooms, a 1920s-style apothecary lounge, which serves Prohibition-era drinks alongside a breathtaking view, and, as legend has it, a slew of hauntings, with staff, guests, and those who frequent the property reporting objects that move on their own, doors that open and close by themselves, the constant feeling of being watched, and accounts spanning nearly three decades telling of encounters with the apparitions of former patients, doctors, nurses, children, and old railway workers, many of whom appear sick or distressed. The manifestation of a mysterious woman has been spied people watching in the hallways, and several have described disembodied voices, footsteps, and even knocking sounds that emanate from within the walls. Lastly, a handful of disturbing accounts detail guests having bedsheets ripped from them in the middle of the night, causing them to wake in terror. Number 4. Antelope Valley Hospital Antelope Valley Hospital, located off West Avenue J in Lancaster, California, is a medical campus boasting the title of being the only full-service acute care district hospital in the whole of Antelope Valley. Historically, construction of the site was started in 1953. It would open on October 12th of 1955 as the first hospital in the valley, with just 86 beds. And in 1960, a 24-hour emergency room was established on site. In 1962, a new wing was constructed, bringing the facility up to 149 beds. In 1974, a South Wing, purposed to act as an intensive care unit and special procedures room, as well as a new surgery recovery space, was added, bringing the hospital up to 184 beds. And in 1893, an outpatient treatment center was established. In 1988, construction of the Tower of Progress would make AVH the tallest building in the region. Antelope Valley Hospital remains open to patients and visitors to this day, and in recent times has built somewhat of an ominous reputation for its supposed supernatural infestations. Legend claims this prominent campus is haunted by the restless spirits of those who have passed upon its grounds, with some telling of victims of malpractice, and others of individuals literally murdered by unruly patients and over the years, staff and guests have reported disembodied footsteps, voices heard from empty rooms, doors that open and close on their own, inexplicable electrical issues, objects found moved to strange places, and encounters with spectral patients, some appearing butchered or bloody. Many have described walking past doctors or nurses, realizing they're in outdated attire, and turning quickly to find they've vanished, and several have told of shadowy entities that stalk the darkest corners of the property. Lastly, and reported with disturbing frequency, is the disembodied sounds of babies crying, or of children calling for their parents, always heard from just out of sight. Number 3. New Hampshire State Hospital 
New Hampshire State Hospital, located off Clinton Street in Concord, New Hampshire, is a historic psychiatric hospital recognized as the 17th facility of its type to open in the whole of the country, and the 7th in New England alone. Historically, its main building was constructed in 1842, and initially the complex was comprised of an admin building with two attached wings, one for female patients and one for male. In 1892, the Bancroft Building was completed as a residential dorm for female patients, in 1894, the Twitchell House was constructed to accommodate male patients. In 1899, the Nurses' Annex was built to house staff members. And through the remainder of the 20th century, a number of institutional buildings were added to the property. The hospital would finally close its doors in 1989 after transferring all of its services to the New Hampshire hospital site. Over time, a number of former hospital buildings have been transformed for various purposes, including for use as state offices, while other remain cold and abandoned. Chillingly, local legend tells patients of this old hospital were abused, even tortured, and that their restless energies remain. And in recent times, those frequenting the old New Hampshire State Hospital grounds have reported disembodied voices and screams, footsteps heard from empty spaces, the sounds of hushed conversations coming from dormant buildings, and encounters with shadowy figures, as well as with the full-bodied entities of former doctors, nurses, orders, release and patience. Some have recounted finding personal possessions in strange places, locked doors and cabinets ajar, or having lights shut off on them suddenly, and informal investigations have yielded high EMF levels, EVPs and recordings, and orbs and half-formed silhouettes in photography. Also reported across the property is the constant and unnerving feeling of being followed or stalked, often accompanied by the sensation of being touched or grabbed by icy, unseen hands. Number 2. The Georgian The Georgian, located off Lafayette Avenue in St. Louis, Missouri, is a historic hospital-turned-condominium complex that, impressively, for over a century acted as the sprawling city's primary public medical care facility. Initially, an original hospital was constructed in 1846 as a response to a massive cholera outbreak. This first building was destroyed, however, in 1856 in a fire, and a year later in 1857, a second hospital was constructed in its stead. However, in 1896, this second building was also destroyed, adversely, in a large tornado. Our third and current hospital building was completed on site in 1907, and over the years, the addition of several other structures, including a power plant and laundry building, were welcomed in. In 1985, the hospital would close its doors, and the complex would be left abandoned to stand the test of time. In 2000, the Land Reutilization Authority would acquire the property, and would promptly set to work cleaning up its bounds, a process during which large quantities of asbestos and lead paint were uncovered in most spaces. The first building on campus to reopen did so as the Georgian in 2006, and immediately began accepting occupants. Work on site continues into the present, and while a number of structures have been demolished or heavily altered, many have been restructured and preserved, or are in various stages of renovation. Eerily, a range of reports and stories tell of problems finding and keeping tenants in reopened portions of the Georgian, leading some to speculate issues may be a result of the property's many hauntings. And across its grounds, both staff and guests have reported extreme cold spots, orbs visible to the naked eye, and blurry forms spied moving about in rooms or areas that are supposed to be empty. Several have described the sensation of breath on the backs of their necks when completely alone, and full-bodied apparitions have been known to manifest within locked condos, terrifying residents. Lastly, through the reconstruction process, workers have reported tools moving or even starting on their own, as well as items disappearing and later reappearing in odd places. Number 1. Broughton Hospital Broughton, located off South Sterling Street in Morgantown, North Carolina, is a psychiatric hospital boasting the title of being the oldest facility of its type still standing in the entirety of the state that, impressively, remains in operation to this very day. 
Historically, the state would provide funding for the construction of a second psychiatric hospital to serve North Carolina in 1875, and in 1883, the site would open as Western Carolina Insane Asylum. Just a year later, by 1884, it had become apparent the facility would need more space, and from 1885 to 1886, two additional wings were constructed, allowing for the hospital's accommodation for over 500 patients. In 1890, the campus's name was altered to the State Hospital at at Morgantown, and rather uniquely, patients were actually utilized in the construction of its roads, and even to establish and maintain its grounds and gardens. Over the years, the institution would welcome in extensive expansion. In 1959, its name was altered once more to Broughton Hospital. In 1987, the Broughton Hospital Historic District, containing 60 structures, was officialized on the National Register of Historic Places, and in 1992, the Broughton Hospital Foundation was established to improve upon treatment and accommodation of patients through massive donations, endowments, events, and more. In 2019, the hospital would establish a new, modernized facility on site, and today, the whole of the campus serves around 800 patients with nearly 1,200 staff members. Through Broughton's extensive lifespan, unfortunately, patient care standards have varied greatly, especially in its earlier years, and at one point, the patient-to-doctor ratio was actually as high as 500 to one. The old hospital also holds a graveyard, underground tunnels, and secrets around seemingly every corner. And according to local legend, the whole of the property is haunted by the many who lived and died upon it, with those frequenting its bounds reporting extreme temperature fluctuations, unnatural gusts of wind in sealed off corridors, and disembodied voices or instances in which individuals hear their names called by an unfamiliar voice when no obvious sources are present. Encounters with the full-bodied apparitions of doctors, nurses, and patients in aged attire are all but common, with most appearing so real they're often mistaken for the living, and several informal investigations have yielded high EMF levels, EVPs of unknown languages, and orbs and mists in the backgrounds of photographs and video. Disturbingly, activity is said to get so strong at times that some staff members refuse to enter certain parts of the building alone or at night, and many have documented feeling as if they're being observed or stalked by someone or something unseen. Also reported across the property are disembodied screams from empty halls and rooms, the phantom clatter of chains rattling, and a scratching sound that source can seemingly never be located. Lastly, a mysterious figure in yellow has been spied at the end of hallways and has a habit of stepping right through nearby walls when approached. Taking into account its fascinating history and coupling it with a jaw-dropping jumble of purported hauntings, local legends, and the like, we felt Broughton was an easy pick for the most haunted hospital in the United States. Thanks for tuning in for our second list of some of the most haunted hospitals in the U.S. If you enjoyed hearing our histories and ghost stories, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on, throw us a like, and most importantly, share this video with anyone you feel could use a good scare. We'll see you all next time.